Hi, uh, welcome to my second part on using the sign rule and in this video today I'm going to show you how to work out the missing angle in a non-right angled triangle so the formula we're going to use is sin capital A over little a equals sin capital B over little b where the little letters are the side lengths and the capital letters are the angles uh, notice that the formula is upside down to the normal formula for the sign rule so the numerator and denominator are switched over this just makes it easier to rearrange the formula later on so let's have a look at our example here so we've got to find the missing angle in this non right angle triangle so we're after this angle here so we call the angle that we're going to find capital A now since this side is opposite this angle this side length here will be little a therefore the other pair that we have of side and angle this will be little b and the angle here would be capital B because this side is opposite that angle so we just need to now substitute the numbers into the formula above so it's sin capital A equals over little a equals sin capital B over little b so if we sub in the numbers so it would be sin question mark over 3.5 equals sin 140 over 7 so we just now need to do our inverse operations so to find question mark then we need to first of all times both sides by 3.5 so this will give us sin question mark equals sin 140 over 7 times by 3.5 so we can type this in on our calculator now so we've got sin so we've got sin 140 over 7 multiplied by 3.5 so if it are equals that gives us a decimal of 0 0.321 now all we've got to do now is do the opposite to sin and the opposite to sin is sin inverse so we just need to sin inverse this decimal here so go shift sin a and s because it's stored in memory and we get an angle of 18.7 degrees to three sig figs uh, thanks for watching